I am Bernd Kiltz and today I will show you how to make a firmware update with the XFX2 and a laptop on Windows. I have Windows 7 installed here on my MacBook Pro via Bootcam. It's no different to an installation of a normal laptop or normal desktop computer with Windows 7 and I will walk you through the essential steps. First you have to go to g66.eu and there you go to support fractal audio then you scroll down and here you can see the latest firmware you need this one xfx2 firmware version 3.04 this is the most recent firmware on december the 15th 2011. Click on it and it will download. Then you need the XFX Windows driver, XFX2 Windows driver. If you are on an XFX Ultra or Standard, you need to do this over a MIDI interface. We will do it over an USB cable directly to the XFX2. So, Windows driver, save, and then you need the XEdit software, which you can get on fractalaudio.com. XEdit for Windows, download, and an optional download would be to download the factory presets. XFX2 preset banks A, B, C, because the factory presets are updated every time they make a new firmware. So now we have everything we need and before we begin, one piece of advice. The firmware updates, although they always make the sounds better and add features to it, they sometimes change the sounds a little bit. So if you're just like uh, four hours away from driving to a gig, you should not do a firmware update unless you have the time to test the presets if they sound like they were before. Very important. Otherwise you will have surprises live, maybe, in rare patients. Okay, so now we close our Firefox browser. We don't need him anymore. And then we go to our download folder and install all this stuff. So at first you want to install the driver Just use the default values, accept the agreement, next, next. And then read what it says here. Important, before clicking next, power cycle the XFX2 by turning off and on via the power switch. We will do this. And on again. And then connect the XFX2 to your computer via USB and we will do this too. One end here at the back. Uh, the cable is a little short but doesn't matter. And one end here at our Mac. It says here that Windows may report that it is unable to find a driver or ask to find one. Please ignore or cancel these messages, if we have any. Maybe on different 
Windows versions, it says different things. So it just says ignore it. And we click next. And we hit install. Okay, he says it has finished and we click finish. Maybe it would be a good advice to restart your computer. It doesn't say so, but I always do this on Windows systems. It's always a safe bet that it works better if you, if you restart. So we will do this and restart the computer. We have installed the driver and restarted the system. And now we will go on and install the other software. X edit setup is next. Agree or accept the agreement. I leave everything to the default values and desktop icon install. Next. Launch X edit would be a good idea. So it asks for a workspace. I leave this here as it is under documents, fractal audio workspace. You can choose whatever folder you like. I want to use the XFX2 and leave everything else as it is. Save changes. Now X edit starts. For our XFX2 to communicate with XEdit, we have to change some settings. The MIDI settings. MIDI input, we want to have from the XFX MIDI out. And MIDI output, we want to send to the XFX MIDI in. That's it. We are connected. So, before we update the firmware, it is recommended to make a backup of everything. And we will do this now under Settings, Sync and Backup. And we want to backup everything. Hit Sync. And it is downloading everything from the XFX2 to our hard disk. And we can restore everything in case something goes wrong. Even if you have a new XFX2 because somebody stole it or whatever, you could restore all your settings to the XFX2 this way. And this is very great because sometimes you use days and weeks to program your presets the way you like them and all this work would be lost. So always make a backup if you have changed something importantly. And while this stuff is downloading, I will get myself something to drink. Sync and backup finished. Now we can go on updating the firmware. So the firmware was downloaded as a zip folder. So we first have to extract it. Extract all. Extract. Done. Close the folder. After unzipping the firmware, we have this folder. And to find it better, just put it on the desktop because the file management of XEdit works a little bit different because of the Java system. Then we go to Settings, Update Firmware, and we go to Desktop. XFX2 and then we choose the sysx file and open it. Now very important, read what it says here. Ready to send firmware? Go to the firmware tab in the utility menu on the XFX and press the enter key so that it is a waiting file. Then click the send button below to send the firmware. So we go to utility, then we go to the firmware page here and it says press enter to start 
the update. I press enter. And then I press send on the laptop. You can see it says sending firmware, please wait. And here file transfer in progress. So everything is working now. This will take some time, maybe half a minute or so. And then the firmware update will be complete. So now the send of the firmware has completed, but we have to wait a little bit for the Exifix to finish the firmware update. Okay, updating firmware, firmware update success. So that's it. Okay. I always switch on and off the XFX after it is finished. And very important, after it is finished. If you switch it off while it is updating the firmware, this is not good, do not do this, because you will have to send in the XFX for it to be repaired. So switch it on and off. And then we'll check on the utility on the firmware page. And it says here version 3.04. And so we are finished and have updated our firmware. As I said, review your presets that they sound the same as you like them and then you can check out the new features. Bye!